<laughs> oh, I got good news for you today. Man, this is huge. This is cataclysmic. It's, it's, for the liberals, it's cataclysmic. This is monster news. A recall election won in the city, I kid you not, of San Fran Stinktown. Okay? I'm sorry if you live there, but let's... It's been liberalist nut job. Nancy Pelosi can win there. That's how bad it is. Uh, but this is huge in a massive recall election. Real quickly, I'll get right into it. But MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack, saves you up to 66%. All right. Check this out. This is big. Okay, I'm going to temper this just a little bit. I'm so excited right now, I can hardly stand it. But I'm going to temper it. I understand. Please don't give me comments about how they're not being replaced with conservatives. I get all that. The point is that the liberals in San Francisco are too far to the left, even for the liberals in San Francisco, and people are pulling them out of government. Okay? Now, I'm going to get right into this. This is awesome. Just don't, don't, don't diminish. Don't do it. I'm telling you. The backlash against school closures, harsh pandemic-related restrictions, and progressive ideology has begun this out of blaze news. Three left-wing members of the San Francisco School Board were overwhelmingly voted out of office on Tuesday in the city's first successful, first, okay, this is the first successful recall election in 40, that's four, 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 and a zero, 40 years. You have to go back to 1982 to find an incident of this happening, people. This is monster. What are the details? San Francisco School Board President Gabriela Lopez and members Allison Collins and Flago Moliga will be removed from the board after city voters made their voices heard. Election returns, get this, showed 78.5% of voters supported removing Collins, 74.9% supported removing Lopez, and 72% of voters supported removing Malika. That's not even close, okay? This is like the numbers by which Democrats are going to lose the midterm elections. That's how big this is. Mayor London Breed, who's a, just a crazy Democrat himself, supported the recall effort and celebrated the outcome. Breed will name replacements within 10 days of the election, in, as the San Francisco Chronicle reported. The city of San Francisco has risen up and said it is not acceptable to put our kids last, Sivaja Raj, a parent who helped lead the recall campaign, said. Talk is not going to educate our children. It's action. It's not about symbolic action. It's not about changing the name on a school. It is about helping kids inside the school building read and learn math. Oh my gosh, they're talking reading, writing, and arithmetic. It's becoming an even bigger win the further I read into this. I was so excited about the initial. I just started going with this before I even read it all. And look at this. They're talking about real school skills. The San Francisco School Board has been in national headlines throughout the pandemic, but never for anything good. Not only were schools in the liberal city shuttered for a longer period than most in the nation. And all the schools were shuttered too long, right? Students, in fact, did not return to full-time in-person learning until August. I kid you not, this is how nut job these people were. And it wasn't ever about the kids. They were texting pictures. I think that was in Illinois, but I, I saw the one of the uh, superintendent texting pictures from the beach, trying to look all sexy in her bikini, drinking pina coladas or whatever. These people were all on holiday, telling the kids to get masked up while they weren't, and playing on the beach in Mexico. People are beginning to realize, right or left, that those who are not willing to govern of, by, and for the people, as our founders clearly dictated and stated, okay, we don't consent. We're not consenting anymore. Memo to the one-worlders, we do not consent. We don't do it. We're not. We're not. Okay. Anyways, even the people on the left aren't consenting anymore. This is big, people. When we, when you look at, when you get a massive populist uprising of united people of a country opposed to tyrannical governments and regimes, that's when you are going to see victory. Okay. I understand that we don't agree on everything, but we have to at least be able to agree on representative government and public servants actually serving the interests of the people and not themselves, not taking big, fat, 
paychecks and playing on the beach, telling the kids they need to mask up while they party maskless. This is nuts, okay? For example, the board pursued rena renaming 44 district, district schools they determined had names linked to injustice. That plan was later reversed. So not, again, you have to understand, the board pursued renaming 44 district schools. See, and that, the, the gal related to that beforehand, right? This isn't symbolic action. We need real action. Even the lefties are waking up to the fact that this is all symbolic BS of taking down statues and stuff, which, by the way, is not actually supported by many of the people in the country, but is being done by people who are literally paid agitators and protesters by one world government freaks. All right. I'm telling, I know I'm worked up. I know. I understand. People, we are at the brink. We're at the precipice of, 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 of humanity in terms of fighting off the World Economic Forum, the Klaus Schwab's and it. Yeah, I did a live today. I'll try and make a shorter video for you about the digital currency, digital identity, and where they're trying to go right now. We need to get out of the system that they are trying to put us into so that they can basically determine our lives and decide whether we're good or bad simply by our online transactions and where our money flows and be able to freeze our money like they're doing up in Canada. All right, back to the school thing here. The school board also voted to permanently end merit-based admission at one of San Francisco's top academic schools, a decision that angered parents across the city. So now here's where you need to understand the country club liberals wouldn't like that, right? So you are seeing backlash even from them, not necessarily for the right reasons, but uh, there is a point at which if you're going to be a top academic school, you need merit-based. But see, they would constantly tell you that, no, we can't have anything based upon merit, but actually we do need things based upon merit because it's just like at work. You do a better job, you get a pay raise. You don't get a pay raise just because other people should get a pay raise or get a pay raise, and then you should get one. You guys get one. I'm so worked up. I can't even put my thoughts together straight. Anyways, the bottom line is not everybody should get an equivalent pay raise when not everybody's doing equivalent work. There's a big difference between equity and equality, okay? Compounding anger was blatantly racist language used by Collins against Asian Americans. In a now-famous social media post, Collins accused Asian Americans of using white supremacist thinking. That she actually says this, okay, to get ahead. She also described Asian Americans who did not speak out against Donald Trump as house N words. Really, this they're whack. Collins then played victim and sued the school district for eighty-seven million after she was removed as vice president of the board. The lawsuit was later dismissed. They can't even win in court, folks. This is a big deal. It's a big victory. The more we unite, the more we expose. We have to continue to expose corruption. The more we do that, the better chance we stand at winning. Okay, just like wearing stuff like this that you can get at lumberjacklogicshow.com. I just threw that in there. Thank you. I just no, but it's true. When you show public displays against the regime that's powerful the more people that put on you know 1776 or let's go brandon or take this jab and shove it and all that kind of stuff and all those are available over on my lumberjack Log logic show website uh, lumberjacklogicshow.com okay um you know or wherever else you want to get conservative merchandise we're winning i love you folks okay subscribe if you haven't by all means peace out